Phoenix, Arizona. Coyotes down in this series against the Blackhawks. Three games to one. Trying to keep their playoff hopes alive. Blackhawks looking to clinch here and move on to the next round. Face off here is won by the Blackhawks. Justin Hatton here for the Virtual Sports Network. Joining you for this matchup. This game five between the Chicago Blackhawks and the Phoenix Coyotes. As Yandel bringing the puck up here for the Coyotes. Cuts into the center. Handle with a drive. Hits the body in front. Shot here is saved by Corey Crawford. Passes it out. Oh, and it was dangerous. Keith picked it up in his slash, and it's going to be a power play for the Hawks early. Kane shoots one, and it's saved by Smith, and the penalty coming up here to... It's going to be a high stick to Martin Hansel. Chicago power play going to work. Kane, Taves, and Hosa. And it's won by the Coyotes, Klesla, Morris, and he's going to clear. That one's going to go. Crawford's going to stop it for Jalmerson. To Patrick Kane. In on the attack, looking for a passing opportunity. Comes into the slot, shoots one, and it's off the pad. Taves out in front, and he's hit there, and the puck goes wide. Keith, Kane, sorry. Into the slot, doesn't take a shot. Hosa, and it's off the pad as Kane made a drop pass there. Morris sends it all the way down and it's going to go behind the goal line. Kills a bunch of time here for the Coyotes. Hawks back on the attack. Hosa back to Jomerson. Fires off the blocker of Smith. Morris will clear that one down. 40 seconds to go on the power play. Campoli picks that one up behind the goal line and he breaks it out to Marion Hosa. Back across to Jalmerson and up to Patrick Kane. And that one goes wide after hitting the pass. Caves in front and it's saved. And Smith is hit. Rebound is stopped and cleared back down again. And he goes all the way down and the penalty is over. Campoli's hit off the puck here. Fires in front. Roosevelt hits a body and it goes out of play. Stahlberg to O'Donnell. And that one's put around the boards behind the goal. Roosevelt is able to get it around before he's hit there and knocked his helmet off. Huge hit there. Micklebocker coming over the line here for the Coyotes. And uh, he's hit there, loses his stick, and it's sent back around the Chicago end. Letty almost turned it over on that pass to Stahlberg as Bickle crosses the line. Coming in, centers to Froelich, and it's off of Yandel. And now he's put up against the boards. Maintains possession of the puck, gets it over to Pyatt. Pyatt crossing into the zone. Center! Bodker! Huge save by Crawford! As he goes down on his legs and tries to slide across the crease and is able to make the catch with the glove. Huge stop! And the puck drop here. Hansel. Doan with a shot that goes wide. Brunette. Up against the boards here and is not able to get it out. And a shot there goes off the blocker of Corey Crawford. Campoli is able to get it to Brunette. Back down to Keith and Brunette now in the neutral zone. Dave Bolin in the slot. Fires and it's off the glove. Smith almost uh, lost that one as it went off his glove and got behind him. But he was able to find it and pull that one for a face off. Mike Smith has been pretty well so far in the, 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 this playoff series. Corey Crawford's just been out dueling him a lot as Campbell's shot doesn't make through. Brunette with a shot doesn't make it through. Boland up tight and it's off the pad. Oakcoin sends it around. It's turned over to back to Boland to the point to Campoli. Across to Keith and a drive and it hits the body in front. And Keith is shot over the line there as he's uh, dumped on his backside with that hit. Now it's scrum in the crease after Brunette's shot is saved.
Face off here, hands it, wins it back to O'Coin. And he's in the neutral zone here. Into the attacking end. Up tight, back to the slot, and that one timer was fired over the net. Whitney fires one in, and it's off and handles there. Crawford got knocked down in the crease. Oh, point to Whitney, backhander save. Doan in front, and he scores! As the backhander came off of Crawford, Doan picks up the rebound and sends it off the pipe and into the net. And the Coyotes strike first with just over a minute to go here in the first period. One to nothing. Hawks in here. Shot there, stopped by Smith and Held. Kane now getting a little restless. And he's being nudged up here after uh, he gave a nudge. As we see the hit on Keith that sent him off the attacking zone into the neutral zone. 38 seconds to go in this first period, and the faceoff is won by uh, the Coyotes as Stepniak rushes in for the tie-up. Yandel to Verbata, crossing the line here to Korpakoski. And a shot here, rebound, Verbata with a shot with Stepniak, and it wouldn't go! And the period ends. So after one, Coyotes and Blackhawks uh, seem pretty much even so far in shot totals. Blackhawks unsuccessful in their power play, and the Coyotes are able to get one by Corey Crawford on the rebound. We head into the second period. Blackhawks down, one nothing. Keep their playoff chances alive. They hope to force a game six back in Chicago. That one slips into the corner. Campoli collects it as he crosses into the neutral zone right now and he passes it over to Patrick Sharp. And he's hit. Roosevelt picks up the loose puck, sends it to Ray Whitney. Whitney in. Cutting into the slot. Goes back outside. Back out to the point. And the net's off. It's Moorings as Crawford got hit in front. And we get a whistle. Ah, uh, Doan just took him out. Luckily for the Coyotes, the puck didn't go in the back of the net. That would have been a sure goal interference call, and that would have been a bad penalty to take. And Hosa in here for the Blackhawks. is hit there. Puck goes around. Yandel's able to pick it up. Fights off the stick check. And the Coyotes trying to break it out of their end here. Over the line, out in front, Yandel, or Whitney, sorry. Couldn't do anything as he tried to uh, make a deep and got nudged and lost the puck. That one's around the boards, Brunette, back to the point, Campoli with a drive and it hits the body in front. Whitney is there but he loses the puck and it goes all the way down to the goal line and Campoli's there and he flips it around to Duncan Keith. Andrew Brunette, long pass across to Marion Hosa. Bowling with a shot and it doesn't go through. Brunette back to the point to Nick Letty. Fires a wrister in and it goes off of a skate. Hosa in front and he's nudged there by the defenders. Brunette can't get a handle on the puck and it's to Morris. Whitney all the way up to Korpakoski. Got the overtime winner in game one. Stepniak with a drive off the blocker. Letty. To Taves, to Hosa. And he's hit there, loses the puck, and the Coyotes are going to move it out here with just over six and a half minutes to go. Stemniak with a shot, and it's loved by Crawford. here. 
And it's won by the Blackhawks. Patrick Sharp moving it out. And Sharp loses the puck, but uh, hits the defenseman back there. Taves in with an interception here. Duncan Keith back to Jonathan Taves. Captain moving in. He's nudged. Loses the puck. Turris to Yandel. All the way up into the neutral zone to Michael Bonker. Over the line. Shooting! And it's off the pad. Campoli will pick up the rebound, and the Pots are out of their zone. Two minutes to go in this second period. That one goes around. Roosevelt's there. Patrick Sharp digs it out. Loses it, though. Roosevelt's able to move it back around behind the net. Up to Bodker. Hit there. Sharp gives the uh, interception. To Keith. Over the line. Try to deep. Loses the puck. Yandel. Coming around by his own goal. Over the line, one second to go. Period's going to end here. Coyotes still with a one nothing lead as we head into the third period. As the Coyotes had more chances that period than the Blackhawks did. And they hope to maintain their lead and ride it to the end as they're looking to force a game six tonight so they can continue to stay in this playoffs after winning their first Pacific title in history. the tie-up, and the Coyotes are able to grab possession off the face-off. Fans on their feet here as they welcome their home team out to the third period as they have a 1-0 lead. And Hansel with a huge rebound, and another rebound goes off the pipe, and it stays out of the net. Sharp. And here for the black of centers, and it's wide. Yandel. Keith with an interception, or Keith with a shot. Sorry, I'm not even sure if that was Keith. I think that might have been Kane, actually. But Sharp forced the turnover, threw one in front. And a huge series of events there. Doan hits the pipe, and then a huge chance the other way for the Blackhawks. And uh, it's still 1 0. Face off there, Doan picks the puck up off the face off. Morris to Doan. Flips that one into the end, all the way around the board. O'Donnell will cut that one out to Ray Whitney as he is not able to pull it out. And O'Donnell breaks it out to Marion Hosa. Crossing the line here. Doesn't pass, takes the shot, and it's saved by Smith. Hansel picks up the rebound behind the net. Stepniak up to Doan. Coyotes on the attack, trying to extend their lead. 1-0 is not that big of a lead. Blackhawks are able to get back into it if they can just get one by Smith. Brunette to Bolin, and it's saved by Smith. Off the glove for Prokoski. Two on two rush here, but he sends it around the boards. Stempniak is there, and he's being pressured by two men. Letty sends it around. It's going to be for Leak to touch up on that one as it's passed up to Andrew Brunette. Over the line. Passes in front, and it's saved by Smith. For Leak with a shot there. And another shot, and it goes wide. Caught up by uh, Brian Bickle. Sends it out front. Jalmerson with a shot, and it's saved by Smith. Rebound is uh, swept aside by O'Coin as he brings it up with him, and the pass is too far ahead here. Camp is going to intercept. And he brings it around his own goal, sends it around to Jalmerson. Camp to Froelich to Bickle. Brian Bickle coming in tight. Centers to Froelich, and his shot doesn't make it through. It hits Keith Yandel. Yandel sends it around, hits Morris in the back end. And he's able to get it to Turris, back down to Yandel. Up to Turris. Sends one in front, and he scores off the bar! Bodker. Chap just threw his stick, chopped at it with the one-timer. And he just got a bunch of air under that one. Hits the bar, goes bar down. He's hit, though. And goes down, loses his stick after scoring that amazing goal. And the Coyotes pull out to a 2-0 lead, and there's a penalty here. And it's going to be a Chicago power play. 
Kosa. And he's going to take the shot here and the angle will touch up on it for the penalty. As we get a hooking call against the Coyotes. They're calling Hansel. Yeah, he hooked Sharp around the waist after the faceoff. And the Coyotes are going to be down a man for the majority of the uh, rest of the game. And that one's flipped all the way down. And caught up on by Sharp. Fights the stick check off, gets it to Taves. Hosa over to Patrick Kane. Fires! It's off the blocker. Smith will cover that one up. Mike Smith has done outstanding so far tonight. Shot out, but so far needs to just kill off this last penalty and things might be looking up for him. He might notch a shutout as he's been dealing with rebounds very well. His defenders have been able to sweep him away before they cause him any trouble. Just an all-around great defensive game played by the Coyotes so far. As Campoli with a drive off the blocker. Smith posts up on the side. Working into the center, sends it over to Kane, and a shot here, and it goes high. Hosa with a shot there, rebound, swept away by Kletzel, and he's hooked. And there's going to be a penalty there, as uh, if that hook's going to happen, Hosa might have had that scoring chance in front. As Taves is going to go for hooking here, he hooked him twice, and they're going to call him slashing, I guess. And it's going to be four on four for a minute 15, and then the uh, Coyotes are going to have a power play for the rest of the game. Roosevelt with a shot there goes off the pad of Crawford. Campoli will pick that one up. He's hit, loses the puck. Regains it. Looking for a pass? No, he's going to lug it in himself. As Crawford skates to the bench, it's going to be a five on four with an empty net. Kane with a shot, doesn't make it through. Keith with a drive that hits the defender. Roosevelt up against the boards. And it's dug out here. And Roosevelt's still able to have it. Doan to Yandel. Roosevelt. And the Coyotes with a power play now as Hansel's penalty is over. Sent back across to Doan. Empty net chance here, but he's pressured. Sends one in front. Whiff! Whitney, though, is there, and he puts it in the net. And the Coyotes go up 3 to nothing. As Doan threw it in front, and Korpakoski was there. Missed the puck. Sorry, that stumped me off in front. Missed the puck. And Whitney just slaps it in into the net. Stemniak will get an assist on that, though. He did touch it with his stick. But uh, completely fan on the shot. And they clear that one into the zone. Ten seconds remain. And the Coyotes win here. They are going to force a game six in Chicago. Mike Smith played outstanding for a shutout tonight. As Verbato with a drive and Crocker will hang on for the last two seconds. As Chicago is going to have to tighten up here. As they're going to want to win on home ice. Chance to clinch on home ice for them. And the Coyotes are going to have to bring their A game to the United Center if they want to force a game seven back here at the jobbing.com arena in a game seven. Justin Hatton here, thank you for joining us on the Virtual Sports Network and we hope to see you in the future playoff games. Good night. <laughs>